Philly Patriots, how you doing? Well, if you saw the Super Bowl, you, you paid attention to the commercials, and you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. My goodness, there was a lot of spiritual warfare. Starting out a lot of these movie previews. One about the alien invasion coming out of New York City, which, you know, in a lot of ways, too late. We already have one. Then there was another one about a movie called Wicked, which is about, it looks like about the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz. So that's a remake. Then you had the Planet of the Apes, some which I, I never understood fascination with that movie back in the 60s and 70s or the cartoon which is god awful but you get that dumb movie and of course they try to get us a Jesus commercial you know he gets Jesus he gets us or he gets us Jesus and then in this commercial, you have several pictures of ordinary people washing each other's feet. And there's this one picture where it's by a family planning clinic, which was really Planned Parenthood, washing their feet there. Almost trying to justify the stupid, ridiculous sins of the world. And then at the end it says, Jesus did not hate, he washed feet. He gets us, Jesus. Okay, first of all, this commercial was blasphemous in many ways. Okay, first of all, Jesus did not wash feet. With the exception of the disciples. That was it. There was nothing else in the Bible where Jesus washed feet other than his 11, <coughs> his 11 disciples, I think, on the night of uh, the Last Supper. And it was only 11 because Judas had already gone out and got his 33 pieces of silver for, betray for betraying Jesus. So, Jesus never washed feet of the Roman soldiers or the backstabbing... Uh, Pharisees and high priests of the synagogues. He never did that. And this whole thing about, you know, trying to justify sin. I know what the people of these of, of this commercial was trying to do. Trying to make maybe uh, sin acceptable in the eyes of the Lord, which is blasphemous in itself. Because as he told the woman who was about to get stoned in the Bible. He says, I don't condemn you, but go and sin no more. Now, did he mean never ever sin again? No. He knows we're very uh, imperfect human beings. What he meant was, don't use my grace as an excuse to live a sinful life. Because then you, cheap, you cheapen the death and resurrection of Jesus from the cross. So, they played that commercial twice. Uh, once in the first quarter, right after the first drive of the game. And they played it again in the second half. And then they played a quick 30 second commercial, which I ain't quite get. I have to go back and look at it, but that one was very blasphemous, and uh, that commercial was very disappointing to me because before that, the other he gets his commercials were pretty good. They blew it on that one. They had a chance to witness and evangelize to millions of people around the world, and they blew it. And of course, then the Scientologists had to get involved. 
I, I saw a commercial about uh, Scientology three times. Basically, uh, uh, an occult. And ironically, the Catholics got their commercial right, the one with Mark Wahlberg. The one commercial that did preach about unity and the love of Christ. Basically, it was <coughs> this Lent. Well, I, basically, this Lent, let's all love each other, I think it was. I, I have the link down at the bottom. Let's stay united. Ironically, even though there's no Lent in the Bible, I'm sorry, Catholics, and I'm, this is coming from a former Catholic, Lent's not in the Bible. It's not. But the message, compared to the Jesus commercial, wasn't much better. And of course, you got the halftime show, which was, you know, <laughs> which was more tamer than it has been in the past, which is not saying much because they were pretty awful. It is what it is. But my other video, you said, I always say that, you know, the NFC and NAC championship games are the last day of the year for the true football fan because the Super Bowl is such an event now, they have used it. to make it a worldwide televised event. Okay, which again, I tip my hat to the, the NFL. They know how to make money. But, you know, you can only go so long and share these satanic messages before the Lord's going to get involved and say, okay, I had enough. I've not been a fan of this commissioner, Roger Goodell. He's a leftist. His dad was a disgusting leftist. I, mean, I love the sport of football, but I, I, I've hated all the woke crap, satanic crap they try to shove down people's throats in the last, well, since, since COVID, really. I mean, it's been gradual, but it's been, it's been bad the last four years. Anyway, I have links down the bottom. I'll show the commercial links so you can decide for yourself. Let me know what you think. And we'll talk to you later.